Lake Victoria Mining Company contracted Metzolf Laboratories located in Vancouver, Canada to conduct additional metallurgical testing on samples taken from the company's Kenyambuiga Gold Project. At this point, it's just like, let's not leave any rocks unturned yep. and, uh, in, in the testing stage. Our tour starts in the sample receiving area where the samples come in and are checked against work orders. In the sample preparation room, samples are prepared for various simulated test processes. They are crushed in the small jaw crusher, which would be the first or primary crusher at many operations. A rotary sample splitter and a small bond mill for test grinding are used in the prep room, and a set of screens of decreasing size are used to screen samples for processing. Gravity unit to use. So we put our sample in the uh, and we feed it at a steady rate through the feeder through the bulk unit. Right here, spins at high speed. You're familiar with the nails out of the key down so so we, But we do very controlled tests this way. Very consistent. Moving on to the scrubber, clay can make gold recovery difficult as gold particles or granules can be encased in the clay agglomerates. Scrubbers are used as intensive washers to liberate valuable particles or granules. Metzelv is equipped with a pilot scale rotary scrubber unit which is optimized for accurate small scale testing. A standard test program will require 200 to 300 kilograms of sample material. Experience has shown that this is the smallest diameter that can be used to provide accurate scale-up. At this point, we do not require this testing. The nickel table is a super panner designed to determine the response of minerals and other mixed particulate materials to gravity concentration. Applications are diverse, but we are interested in its quantitative analysis and concentration of gold. Another three minutes before they start. This is your sample being floated. Two drops, MIBC. Now he's adding a froth wrench. You can see how little reagent you need. That's two drops. So you can imagine in a big scale, it might be 50 drops. <laughs> in that sense, you know, with the amount of reagent you added, it's, it's quite. Environmentally, there's not a lot. They break down naturally in the environment. This has already had the, uh, the uh, gravity gold taken gravity out. Gravity gold is pulled, right? Yep. All right. They just finished a gravity test this morning, the last phase of it. So, uh, let's get in there. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, there's a little. You've got paddles, so sweep them off. If you notice, there's a bit of a difference in the color of the floatable. It's a little bit darker gray, yeah. whereas that's more of a creamy. Yes. If, you look, if you look what's coming over, it's a bit of a yeah, darker gray versus a creamy sort of a broad color. Look at the color of that liquid there versus the color of that liquid. So you're getting a distinct phase separation of minerals. Right. It's slow floating, guys, I can tell. Yeah. It is coming up. But it's that's a Zanthate. That's what uh, coats the surface of the gold particles. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's the opposite of soap. It actually is a more of an oily organic substance. That actually, and it, it become, makes the particles become hydrophobic. Our first con is, it was uh, slightly darker. So we know, like, pretty much we might have already gotten all of it out in the first stage already. But, uh, <clears throat> We're adding different reagents, uh, maybe some more, and see if there's a distinct color change or visually. And that's how we usually determine it. But usually, when we pull enough, and uh, right now you can see the bubbles are quite clear. So and they're popping quite uh, really. So it's 
probably just pulling water more. So if we add more reagent and it's still the same, then we probably know like uh, most of the stuff we want to pull is already already done. Well, look at that. We like to pull more than we think, but say all the gold is recovered by this stage, we'll know mathematically. So we like to recover an extra, but we, can, we know that if we don't go far enough, then we won't know if we could have gone farther. So we go a lot further, take more cuts, and then, uh, then we can say, oh, by this stage all the gold is recovered. But if we don't go far enough, we might not know. And if we stop here, we don't know if we could have recovered the gold. In the Hydromet lab, Metzol will conduct our testing to determine the percentage of gold recovery by means of cyanide leaching. We appreciate the cooperation of Metzol Laboratories, Ishgarol and his team for allowing us to visit and to tour their facility. We have conducted the second set of metallurgical tests to verify the results from gravity, flotation and cyanide leaching to enable our team to finalize the gold recovery system that will be used at Kenyan Wega Gold Project. Therefore, we soon look forward to receiving and sharing the test results with you. Stay tuned to the LDCA Media Room.